Hello boys and girls, I'm Dirk Klingman with the Grand Junction Fire Department, and today we are gonna read Big Frank's Fire Truck, written by Leslie McGuire, and my favorite part, the illustrations by Joe Mathieu. I think the illustrations are just fantastic in this book, and really show you a lot of neat stuff about the fire department. So let's dive in. It's nine o'clock on Monday morning. Big Frank is just getting to work. Big Frank is a firefighter. He works a 24 hour shift. That means he will be on duty all day and all night. This is the firehouse. This is where Big Frank lives, sleeps, and eats while he is at work. Big Frank checks in and goes over his schedule. At 11 o'clock, he will make a fire inspection at the supermarket. At 2 o'clock, he will visit the elementary school to talk about fire safety. Big Frank has to be prepared for all kinds of emergencies, too. Who knows what will happen during his shift? The fire chief asks Big Frank to fuel up the fire trucks. Big Frank heads for the garage. Big Frank's company has three fire trucks. The hook and ladder is used for aerial rescues. The brush breaker has four-wheel drive and can go where there are no roads. Big Frank drives the pumper engine. The pumper holds water, 1,000 gallons. The Grand Junction Fire Department has similar vehicles. We have two ladder trucks to access tall buildings and three additional fire engines. We have two different kinds of brush trucks to access wildland fires that may occur in areas without access roads. We also have a water tender to transport water to hard to reach areas without fire hydrants. And a fleet of ambulances that respond to medical emergencies. After he takes care of the engines, Big Frank checks his gear. He wears a helmet to protect his head, a fireproof coat and pants to protect his body, and sturdy boots to protect his feet. He has a wooden wedge for propping open doors and an oxygen pack and mask in case the fires are very smoky. Big Frank hangs his equipment next to the pumper engine. Now he is ready for anything. Just like Big Frank, our firefighters wear personal protective equipment, or PPE. The tough fabric of their coat and pants protect crews while using heavy tools and shields them from broken glass, sharp objects, and other hazards. The inner lining of the PPE is like a giant oven mitt that isolates the firefighters from high temperatures. Additionally, crews wear an air bottle with breathing mask on their back and a helmet on their heads. Big Frank sits down with his partner Mike for a cup of coffee. Just then, the fire bell rings. At the same time, the lights in front of the station start flashing and the computer starts printing. Accident at the intersection of Main Street and Laurel Road. Car on fire! Mike, Janet, and Gary jump in the pumper with Big Frank. Big Frank turns on the siren and heads out of the station. Woo! Woo! The fire truck roars down Main Street with the siren going full blast. Cars pull over when they hear the noise, and a policeman waves the big engine right through a red light. The firefighters arrive at the scene of the accident in less than four minutes. It's a good example, boys and girls, of helpers in our community, either people that pull to the side of the road to help out the fire truck, or police officers who are our partners in public safety. The first thing Big Frank does is check to see if anyone is hurt. He is glad he has his paramedic training. One lady has a bad cut on her head. Big Frank bandages the cut and Mike radios for an ambulance. Meanwhile, Gary and Janet spray the burning car with a special foam made for gasoline fires. The flames go out and a tow truck comes to haul the wrecked car away. The special foam Big Frank uses is called a compressed air and foam system, or CAFs. A special kind of soap is added to the water inside the fire truck and what comes out is a white sudsy mess that puts out fires faster and can coat other things in a protective layer and prevent them from catching fire. Big Frank returns to the station with the others and fills out his report. He looks at his watch. It's nearly 11 o'clock. He drives over to the quick shop to make his inspection. Big Frank inspects the store's sprinkler system to make sure it is working properly. He checks the emergency doors to see if they will open in case of a fire. He also runs a test of the alarm system. The supermarket has a smoke alarm that rings right in the fire station. Everything looks okay. Crews perform fire inspections in businesses all over Grand Junction. Fire safety is a citywide effort and is everyone's responsibility. Back at the firehouse, Big Frank eats lunch with the other firefighters. 
Then he takes a short nap in his bunk. Big Frank may have time to take a nap, but our crews usually stay busy with training, writing reports, or responding to emergency calls. At 2 o'clock, Big Frank and Mike drive the pumper engine over to Nice View Elementary School. Big Frank and Mike talk to the second grade class about fire safety. Mike tells them that smoke detectors are very important. He shows them how to check their smoke detectors at home. Big Frank teaches the class what to do in case of a house fire. He tells them to stay low so they won't breathe too much smoke. He then shows them how to stop, drop, and roll. You've seen that before, boys and girls. They're stopping, dropping, and rolling right there. On the way back to the station, a call comes in over the radio. Brush fire at Dairy Hill. Big Frank turns the pumper around and heads for Dairy Hill. He and Mike will meet the rest of the company there. Big Frank is worried. There hasn't been any rain for a long time and the wind is blowing. This could be a bad fire. And Big Frank is right to be worried, boys and girls, when it's very hot and dry outside and the wind is blowing, a very small fire can grow very quickly and spread to nearby homes. Big Frank and Mike reach the fire a little after 4 o'clock. They go right to work. They spray water around the edges of the blaze to keep it from spreading. The wind blows and sparks fly through the air. When the rest of the company arrives, the fire chief tells Janet and Gary to hose down the roofs of the nearby houses. That will help keep the sparks from setting the houses on fire. In Grand Junction, there is a lot of what we call Wildland Urban Interface, or WUI for short. These are places where homes are built right next to undeveloped areas where weeds, grass, bushes, and trees grow. A fire that starts in the Wooey can spread fast when the wind is blowing and damage or even destroy nearby houses. If the wind is blowing and there has been very little rain, those dry grasses and weeds can burn very quickly. At nightfall, the wind picks up speed. Suddenly the fire goes out of control and races toward the forest. The fire is too big for one company to handle alone. Big Frank radios for help. Two more companies are on the way. And that's the way it works in Mesa County, boys and girls. One of the great things about public safety is that we're all here to help each other. So when we respond to an incident that is bigger than we can handle by ourselves, we can always call for help and other fire departments rush to our assistance. Big Frank knows all the firefighters in the other companies. He has worked with them many times. Together, they make a good team. By midnight, they have saved the nearby houses from catching fire. They have headed off the blaze to the north, south, and east, but the fire is still spreading west through the trees. Even the brush breakers can't keep up. Big Frank calls in a squad of special firefighting helicopters. Soon they are whirring overhead. The firefighters battle the blaze from the ground. The helicopters drop chemicals from the air. Finally, after 14 hours, the fire begins to die out. The worst is over. Big Frank is tired. No wonder, it is nearly 6 o'clock in the morning. As soon as the next shift of firefighters arrives, Big Frank and his company head back to the firehouse. Back at the station, Big Frank helps wash down the trucks. They are sooty from the fire. Big Frank is dirty too. He has ashes all over him, even in his hair. Big Frank jumps in the shower, then he puts on clean clothes and eats a big breakfast. Getting cleaned up after a fire is very important. When man-made products like plastic burn, it can release harmful substances that stays on clothing, tools, and even your skin. To stay healthy, our firefighters clean their bodies and tools as soon as possible. They even use a fire hose to spray off their gear before they even leave the scene of a fire. It's 9 o'clock on Tuesday morning. Big Frank's shift is over. Big Frank waves goodbye to the other firefighters. He can't wait to go home. He can't wait to hug Amber and Little Frank. Big Frank will have two days off to spend with his family. Then he'll start another shift, fighting fires and helping everyone's family stay safe and sound. So boys and girls, that's Big Frank's fire truck. I hope you enjoyed this book and I hope you learned a little bit more about our fire department and saw a little bit about our fire stations and fire trucks and how we do our job. Uh, I had a lot of fun reading this book to you and I hope you enjoyed it too. We'll see you again.